Hi, today is August 26th, 2023. I'm Nerve Gorilla, not that that matters. But today I'm going to do an update to a video I did some eight months ago right here. Uh, Jitsi Meet whiteboard self-hosted up and running from scratch on Debian. It's VOIP with end-to-end -end encryption. Um, it's kind of like Zoom. It's a web-based conference piece of software where anybody can join, whether it's on a cell phone or a computer. And it's like literally one click and you could be talking to people in voice chat and video. It has, uh, as it says right here, the whiteboard for drawing cooperatively with people. Um, it has text chat in it. It has uh, video sharing. It has recording. It has a lot of cool stuff. So I'm going to try to set this up in one take. Um, I'm a little sick, but in the video that I made, I did it in VirtualBox. You could use VirtualBox, you could use Proxmox, you can use a, an emulator. Uh, so we're going to use Proxmox with Debian 11. So I have a list of stuff here that you're going to need. Um, you're going to need Debian 11 Bullseye. I have a link to it right here. You can't use it with 12 yet. Um, you're going to have to have an, a permanent IP address on your... Um, virtual computer or computer. You can set this up in many ways. I happen to have it set up in my router via MAC address, as you can see on the top here. I have a MAC address assigned to the computer and it's given a static IP, which is 192.168.1.119. These are the ports you're gonna to need to open in your router to the IP address. Not that many, TCP, UDP, whatever. Pay attention to that. Just copy that stuff. Also have this in the text document. You're going to also need two DDNS, two IP addresses. I have jitsi.freemyip.com and nerve.freemyip.com. Um, you can get these at, you know, freedns.org, dyndns, uh, or this one, freemyip.com. There's several places. And as for the computer itself, you're going to need at least four cores, four CPUs, and eight gigs of memory. So... I'm going to get started here in Proxmox. I'm going to get this installed and we'll get rolling. Yep, this is just going to be a straightforward install, nothing fancy. I'm going to do a create VM over here. I'm going to name it Jitsi Meet Test. All right, I'm going to select my storage here. Uh, from the disk, it's going to be Debian 11. There it is, 11.7. .7. Linux. Uh, I'm just going to leave these default. I'm going to change this in Proxmox. Uh, I'll leave it at 32 gigs. I don't think I need more than that. Now remember, for, for the CPU, you're going to need at least four cores for the CPU. I'll put six. And I'm going to set this to host right here. You don't have to use Proxmox. Again, you could be using VirtualBox. If you want to know how to set it up in VirtualBox, you can watch my video uh, in my live section from eight months ago. For the memory, um, I'm just going to put 8192, just minimum eight gigs. For the network, now here's where I set up the MAC address. I'm gonna paste the MAC address in right there that I have set up in my router to give a permanent IP address. All right, I'm gonna hit confirm, finish. Now you should see it pop up on the left over here. There's Jitsi Meet Test. I shouldn't have to change anything else. Um, if you want it to start at boot, you should probably check that box if you're using Proxmox. And um, yeah, that's about it. So I'm gonna hit console and I'm just gonna hit start now. And we're gonna follow my instructions here. It's loading up for the first time ever. Debian 11, I like in just regular install. I don't really like the graphical install. I guess I'm kind of old school. So here's the instructions I'm gonna follow. Um, I'm gonna start with the host name. We'll see here, English, United States, English. I apologize, I don't have any music today, but whatever.
Okay. Host name doesn't matter. I'm just going to put Jitsi. Yep. Whatever. Now remember, it's important. If you're new to, to Linux, I don't put a root password yet. It'll be easier in the, in the long run. So we're just going to put a regular username. This is going to be the first username you log in with. And any password, I'm just going to put a small one, whatever. I'm going to use a guided use entire disk. And then uh, I'm going to all files in one partition. Finish. And then write changes. Yes. I'm trying to do this in one take. And uh, after I get to the end, it should just be one install using a script, one script to install. And uh, I've, I've got my phone here, so I'm gonna load my phone up and we're gonna do an actual demonstration to just to prove that everything does work. work. No, nope, no proxy. Real uh, shout out to um, to Emra. That's his name. This is his uh, GitHub for the installer. Jitsi installer. Oh, let me hit. Don't want to participate. Um, he has a nice script. I guess that's not the exact link, but. Okay, well, whatever. All right, so here's the important part. This choosing the software to install. Um, this is Linux, so we're going to take out the desk environment. We're going to remove GNOME, and we're just going to have the bottom two. SSH server and standard system utilities. That means this is going to be a Debian server and not a Debian desktop. If you select the desktop, I don't think the script will work. So just follow along. The command lines are really easy. It's nothing really complex. If I can do it, anybody can. Make sure to have your ports open before you start all this stuff. In your router, that is. <laughs> all right. We're going to do the grub bootloader, yes. And we're going to select the hard drive, which is going to be, for me, the bottom one here. If you're uh, installing in VirtualBox, this will read something different. So we'll just do that. Honestly, I, I like Proxmo Proxmox here. It's like, um, Proxmox is Debian Linux, but it's um, kind of a virtual environment, they call it, where you can set up several VMs, as I've got on the left side here. So it's kind of neat. Installation complete. So when I hit continue, same with VirtualBox. It, it, it will remove the media, the CD, and start loading. All right, so we're just going to do a couple changes here right out of the gate. The first thing we're going to do is going to type IP space A after we log in. So we got to log in with our, actually, let me um, pop this out. I think I can just pop it out. There we go. I'm going to log in as NERV, which is the username I created earlier. And there's the password. And as you can see, we're logged in. The text is kind of small, but we're about to uh, log in differently. And I'll show you in a second here. So first thing we're going to type IP space A. And the reason you want to do that is because you can see your IP address now to make sure it's correct. There it is right there, 192.168.1.119. That is the IP that I wanted to give this computer. So now we're good to go. We can continue. The first thing we're going to type is um, sudo space passwd password. 
let me hit type clear first because it's kind of messy sudo password now it's going to ask for a new password i'm get, giving my root password right now to log in root su space hyphen enter it's going to want that password i just set and now i'm in root that's what that pound sign means right there instead of the dollar sign you got the pound now i'm root Okay, so I got to um, enable root login via SSH, which is going to be, I'm going to be using PuTTY to do that. So I'm going to type nano slash etc SSH SSH D underscore config. And I'm going to scroll down using the arrow keys down to permit root login right here. I'm going to hit delete to remove that pound sign, then I'm going to hit end to go to the end and backspace to right here. And I'm going to type yes, per permit root login space. Yes. Then to save it, I'm going to hit control O and then enter. And then I'm going to hit control X to exit. And then I'm going to type clear again. All right. Now we can log in via root. Actually, wait, we got to do one more thing. Sorry. We have to type slash etc slash init dot d slash ssh restart. All right. Now we can close this window and we'll be able to log in with ssh, which I'm going to use putty here. And I made an account already called test jitsi. There's the IP port 22. I'm going to hit open. And it's going to say warning, potentially security breach, whatever. Just accept. I'm going to log in as root, put my password, and we're in as root right now. All right, we're ready to go. We're ready to start pasting commands. Now, I'm going to start pasting commands starting with nano, etc. grub. And we're going to select this first part here. And we're going to change the default to 1 and this one to 0. Control O, Enter. Control X. All right, then we're going to update Grub. Well, now we can copy and paste. I can just copy this right here, and then I can right click in Putty, and it pastes. Now we updated Grub. All right, so we're just about ready to install Jitsi. We're going to make sure that we have apt, or I mean, uh, wget by typing apt install wget, and we already have it. So we're going to download the script now using wget and the K. I'm going to clear. And if I type ls, you can see I have that installer there. That's the install file right here, Jitsi Jibri installer. All right, so let's do this host name here. I'm going to do my first IP addresses, which is jitsi.freemyip.com, jitsi excuse me. And then the uh, turn host is going to be your second IP. And in my case, that's nerve.freemyip.com. And we start the installer by activating the bash script right there. Bash and then Jitsi Jibri installer. Now it's going to say script blah, blah, blah. I'm going to type yes and it's going to start rolling. And it's gonna, it should do everything. It's installing all the packages, setting up um, Let's Encrypt. So my website will be HTTPS. Um, it's going to set up the recording. It's going to set up the... Um, streaming ability, meaning you can stream to YouTube right from Jitsi here. A recording? Okay. Just wanted to make sure. It's now checking the ports. Isn't that beautiful? I just love this script.
guy who made the script, I think his name is Emra, E-M-R-A-H, and he's on the Jitsi Meat forums. Really smart guy. It's already almost done, I'll tell you. You'll see. It's doing the rest. I use Jitsi all the time. My girlfriend actually went to Cambodia recently, and um, if she had used her phone to dial out, it would have she would have been charged extra money for roaming, right? Well, because she had Wi-Fi access and even internet access through T-Mobile, she was able to just meet me on my Jitsi server. We had a uh, pre-planned room set up that she'll just have bookmarked in her web browser, Firefox, and. Uh, she sent me a text before we met, and I sent her one before we would meet up there and said, all right, meet me on Jitsi. All right, here we go. And then we met up and we, we talked totally for free because it's over the internet. And it's VOIP right over the internet. It's great. Um, there are actually um, some scientific papers papers released comparing different VOIP um alternatives zoom you know whatsapp and things like that jitsi meet was there and jitsi meet by my account is the best option you know it's free open source you can run your own server you can do this stuff yourself oh here's the um here's the script stuff that uh, emra added in the past month or so where he has all of the stuff set up for your whiteboard now in my first video Setting up the whiteboard was a pain in the ass. It was a lot of configuring. It was just a pain. Now it's so easy. It's literally one script and that's it. You're done. Okay, it says it's good. It's done. Let's test it out. I'm going to open it up right now in my Chrome browser. Let's hit. There it is. It's working. There's the link. Jitsi.freemyip.com. It's working. HTTPS. It has a uh, certificate and everything. Certificate is valid. Beautiful, isn't it? And because it's Chrome, we can actually enable encryption. So security options. End-to-end -end encryption is on. Yep. End-to-end -end encryption is off. Just let me, I'm just going to enable lobby. So there's a little bit of protection, I guess. And I'm going to, one thing you could do. You want to invite somebody? It's so easy. You could just hit invite someone. And then you can copy the meeting link and then send an email, send a text or whatever. It's built right in. Let me see what the link is. Yep, that's the link. So I could text somebody, all right, I'm on Jitsi, meet me here, whatever. And um, let me bring my phone up right now. Bringing my phone up. Okay, there's my phone. My actual cell phone is connected. And as you see on the top there, it's connected 5G, not Wi-Fi, so I'm not cheating and in, in bypassing anything. It's 5G, meaning if I'm out and about, driving down the road or whatever, I'd be able to connect to this. So let me open Chrome. Let me open Bookmarks. Oops. Bookmarks. And Mobile Jitsi. There it is. Okay. Let's see. Join in Browser. Okay, let me just disable the camera for now. I'm going to hit ask to join. Now it'll knock on the door and I can admit. And that's it. Hello. Hello. Now I'm on my cell phone mic and I'm going to mute the mic right now. There we go. Turn this down a little bit. So, hello, hello. I don't know why I can still hear myself. All right. So let me just um, do the uh, recording real quick. This records on the server right away if you want to, just like this. Recording is on. Now it alerted both of us, or it should alert alert both of us. Um, but yeah, you have the recording, you have a stream here. You have um, whiteboard, and I'm going to enable that right now. 
Here's the whiteboard. There you go. Move my cell phone over a little bit. And let me control my cell phone now. And I'll do like, uh, hi there. There we go. You could draw little circles and things, different colors. You could fill it in. There we go. You can kind of spin it around. Oh, on the PC, should probably, uh, you can zoom in and out on the PC and have a nice huge canvas. And I can see his little cursor there and I can, this is nerve, you know, phone. And you can, you know, rotate things around. This is the whiteboard. <laughs> cool, huh? Now for the phone, phone can see me drawing too. Let's see if I can move this over a little bit. I don't have all the controls set down perfectly yet, but. <clears throat> all right, so as you see on the on the phone on the right, you, see, you can see me drawing right now, you know? And it's a uh, peer-to-peer. It's not client server, it's peer-to-peer -peer right now, so it's just you guys. Now let me enable, uh, let me um, disable this and let me enable encryption and that'll be it. So the only thing that kind of sucks is that uh, you have to manually get rid of the whiteboard. There you go. All right, so we're going to do encryption and see if that works. End-to-end -end encryption is on. Hello. Hello. All right. So encryption is working because uh, I can. you can hear me on the phone. And you can see on the top up here, there's a lock showing that audio and video communication. All right, where is it? Audio and video is end-to-end -end encrypted. It's a beautiful thing. So there you have it. There's all sorts of other configurations you can do. You can uh, modify the quality, the video quality, the sound quality, all sorts of cool things. Um, you can share video right here. If you've got a link to like a YouTube video or whatever, you can just share it directly and you can watch it together. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, there's so many cool things you can do here. Um, I even have it set up where, where I highlight this right here and I have a little like a Giphy link. So I can pop up big Giphy links, um, you know, right in this window. So it'll be anything that's animated, you know, like a guy waving or anything I type in Giphy. It shows up right there. So it's it's one of the cool things. Oh, and then there's the chat, you know. Hi. Oops. Yeah, you can whisper too. How are you? I think their chat needs some improvement. I think their chat, they should have an encrypted chat. They currently don't. So your encryption is only through video and media here, audio, video. Uh, it's not in the text yet, as far as I know. Hopefully they get that done soon that'd be kind of neat but they're always improving you can always keep up to date with jitsi when you're logged in in ssh here you can type uh you know apt update and you can uh, you know you can get all the latest packages through jitsi and linux and debian and, and and all that stuff and that's it that's all there is to it see you later